given. You make the best of it, and we'll see if the players are able to do just that as we get into our final game of the day here in group number two. Yeah, last last game of the day. I hope everyone has been having fun. I've been having a lot of fun. And again, we'll be back next week. So be sure to tune in again next week. Follow the channel. Uh, it's really cool seeing everything that uh, ESL is putting together with the ESL Mobile Open. I, I'm just working on auto chess, but they've got a lot of other stuff going on. So definitely worth uh, checking all that out. And uh, enjoy as, uh, as these tournaments all unfold building towards playoffs and lots of money being given out to these players. So uh, here we are in the game. I'm not sure why one of our players is called AI player. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, there. Maybe, maybe Koga boss did or did not join the lobby. I can't, I can't confirm or did not. No, he, he didn't, he didn't join. He was not able to join, unfortunately for our, our final game of the day, uh, which obviously should is I, unfortunate. Should I jump in? But, uh, Fax no. toss, I, <laughs> I need you in. to cast. Oh, Okay, you're I right. I need you to cast Axel you're right. Foss. Bear you're with right. me here, buddy. Come on. Just, look, I'm look, sorry. you mentioned this. We have these other tournaments that are going on, all part of the ESL Mobile Open. I'm casting all of them. I'm casting three days a week, which means I'm going to get tired. I need you here, buddy. I can't do this alone. <laughs> all right? You know, I got right. PUBG Mobile. Sure. I got... I got Clash of Clans. I got Auto Chess. You know, there's a lot of things to remember and keep it all straight in my brain. That's what you're here for. But, Paul, this makes me want to play on my Sony Xperia 1 phone. Oh, I understand the urge. I do. I have two okay. of them next to me. I have one but for I each hand. I could. You just have to wait. Just take it easy. Take it easy when you're okay, making la dinner last lighter. Last question or before we really before we really dive into the game. Have you played Auto Chess on each phone like two games at once before? Have you tried that? I I'm pretty sure that's against terms of service. I've definitely not done that. <laughs> All right. I've you'd have definitely, to use, you'd have to use two accounts. I feel like it'd yeah. be difficult. I feel like it would be like that's like one of those like 3D or 4D chess situations like a Jimmy Neutron meets data from Star Trek. My, I just can't do it. I can't do that. Just yeah. too much processing going on all at once here. But you know who can probably do stuff like this? It's AI our players player. here in this lobby. No, not what? No, it's the, no, it's the top 24 oh. players in North America. Axel Toss, okay, the guys okay. who've been grinding for six weeks to make it here. All Look, right. Our AI These player is at the top. Is this the moment AI rises up? Is this? Is this the time? I, I always believed in you, Skynet. <laughs> Just for the record. Is this the moment? Will AI player teach us all how it's done? And crush the humans in the lobby? Uh, that's a question I'm asking, to be all honest. Right. That's a fair That's a fair question. The Turing uh, test. We'll find out. Uh, it's, it's not. It's, you know what? Let's <laughs> not dive into that. That is scary. <laughs> and I don't need any fear on my Friday night. I only need excitement at this lobby. Uh, as Dogbun and Vivo are also doing quite well here. Potentially uh, playing into the Kira here as well as getting that uh, Cave Clan buff going with the Warriors. This is an interesting variation we haven't seen a whole lot of here. Warriors have really only had one successful game, and it was that first game with Zath. Yeah, um, and like the two-star Tusk Champion we saw in the early stages of last game. We, uh, and, and the same thing with Knights. Where are the Knights? Like, no one's yes! really going Knights. Uh... I don't. I don't know. We're we're all we're all learning stuff here. The meta could be changing as we speak across different regions. There could be different play styles happening. For some reason, three players are going Witcher here, including our AI player. Um, I don't know. It's it's curious, kind of the strategy you've seen. But we're definitely seeing favorites for uh, for these players, and it's been goblins early. Uh, and then it's been not knights. <laughs> it's been not knights later on. Just like Venomancer plays, we get some Assassin's plays uh, mixed in. A little bit of Druid working its way in as well. We've seen some strong Mage comps, but I don't think we've seen a Mage comp that has just destroyed and won everything. So we're still, a lot of this is, you know, we still have to sit back, relax, and, and watch these strategies unfold to see what these players have for us. Oh, totally. I mean, we're still, this is a drop in the bucket. You know, this is the tip of the iceberg. This is really... Uh, for us, at least, learning about what these different players are favoring, what even these different yeah. group metas are going to start to, to favor. I think we are still so, so far from from seeing really the, the highest tier play here. I think we're really only going to see it on day number three once really everything is really shaken out. I think a lot of it's going to play ar around the Kira uh, so, and some of the Divinity stuff as well. I, I feel like that's really where things are going to get interesting. I think maybe Mage play is, is going to show up there with some Warlock stuff as well, uh, flexing into Goblins, playing around those Venomancers. But again, I think there's still a lot... Uh, left to be discussed here because again 
part of the fun of an auto battler is sort of that sense of rock, paper, scissors. It's, you know, the X comp beats Y comp and Y comp beats Z comp. There's there's definitely a lot of different uh, uh, elements to that here. So seeing, you know, some top opponents going one build might incentivize you to try and look for that counter. So far here in this game, we're seeing uh, not surprising at all. Uh, goblins all across the lobby. Um, I see a one star light blade knight. Oh wait, that's our AI player. Our AI player going for a light blade knight. We haven't really seen a strong light blade knight come out. We haven't really seen a really strong fallen witcher come out. It's kind of something I was thinking about. Uh, that's something that that happened at the auto chess, the million dollar auto chess invitational. We had a, a couple matches where some players just went all into the Fallen Witcher and it was a monster. So we haven't really seen anything like that here with the exception of like, I guess the Venomancer being the focus as the monster like carry. So I'm still, again, I'm still curious to see how these uh, str different strategies will develop. If there's any strategies we haven't really seen yet, uh, make the light of day. So I I'm gonna be keep keeping an eye on all that. I I I'm still oh. gonna be a little biased towards Vince here though, to be fair. Yes, no, I wanted to jump on board with him. He's been able to, uh, you know, uh, a little loss at the start, but able to get some wins together. Now dropping down a decent amount, but still being able to keep his experience in pretty good shape or his money in pretty good shape, I should say. Deep Blue actually early leveled, spent everything, rolled down to zero uh, to get a level six here as well. So interesting from him because he's not on a win streak, but he's going to try uh, and create one here uh, and look to keep that alive. But he's struggling even though he had that extra piece on the board. Uh, but he is going to be able to get that win here, and he is going to be able to get that win streak going. So I don't mind that decision at all. Spend that gold early, get those levels going, uh, and try and get that streak underway. Yeah, it was interesting how it looked like he had a bit of a lost streak early on, but I wonder if if that's a strategy that's at least a little abandoned because you don't know if you're going to go up against the AI player. And if you're trying to open fort against the AI player or... You know, you, you might accidentally win that. So maybe that's why the lost streak is a little harder to go for in this lobby. I'm not sure. I'm kind of just kind of just thinking out loud. Um, maybe it's harder to go for a lost streak with that AI player around. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep a close eye on Vince. Looking on through this lobby, I'm seeing a, a couple warriors being built by Dog Bun and Deep Blue. We'll see. Not committed at all, though. Just just one. So we'll see how. But those are the only two going for Warriors, so we'll see if, though, if they pursue that a little more. We've seen a lot of Spirit play uh, so far today, and for now it's Vivu that's going for uh, at least one Spirit. He's got a Thunder Spirit on the board, but no one really else in the lobby has picked up a Spirit piece. Um, Insectoid coming out from Deep Blue. Yeah, yeah still, st we're still in the very early stages here uh, of this round, so not too much being revealed as far as uh, mid to late game strategies just yet. Still a pretty, pretty even lobby across the board. Yeah, I really like to see this here. No real blowouts to start things off. And, and again, I think you're absolutely correct. The, the inclusion of that AI might have actually changed some of the players' decisions about going full open fort here and really trying to ride uh, these lost streaks. Uh, just because it's going to be so much harder to do. Like, you really have to... Because you want to tilt that line. You want to put enough units out that are good, just good enough so that you don't get absolutely wiped and you can keep as much HP as possible. You only want to lose a couple, you know, three or four or five HP max sort of around. But at the same time, the AI is going to be so much worse than everybody else that there's actually legitimately a chance that you win that. And that totally changes that up. I think that's actually kind of cool because it does change the strategies that you need to do. Even if you're playing bad, the computer will play worse. Yep. Uh, as of right now, yes. But AI, it's constantly being improved. So maybe, maybe yeah. not in the future. But for now, our AI player is is not doing that well. But we're not going to focus too much on that. <laughs> uh, not too much, uh, not really melding any synergies together. You know, not a whole lot going on for our AI player. So we'll mostly be ignoring him. Although we, I guess yeah. we could pray it's a five loss streak being helpful towards his economy, but he's probably not going to do much whatsoever. Uh, meanwhile, speaking of loss streaks, we have the next the next best loss streak, if I may. Uh, Dogbun actually huh? able to figure out a loss streak for himself, so not really running into the AI player. Able to figure that out, going up to 30 on his econ. Uh, meanwhile, Nova at the top, and I believe Nova was pretty deep into contention on our overall leaderboard, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, wasn't Nova, I believe, second or third in our overall leaderboard. So definitely going to be looking out for uh, for him to 
I mean, he's definitely got top two on his mind in in this match. And then, of course, Vincent is is right up there in contention. Vincent a little bit lower in the leaderboard, so he's going to really try to win this. Meanwhile, Deep Blue, he's got himself a yeah. five win streak. Uh, I guess we're taking a look at him real quick. Let's see what he's got on the on the board. Deep Blue, he's got an insectoid out, so already benefiting a little from that. Warrior Beast, not not much else going on. He's got a level two Abyssal Guard, level two God of War. Uh, a couple. He's actually got three Abyssal. Um, he's got three of those. Yeah, he's got three Abyssal Guards there actually in play. So, all right. Yeah, we'll we'll see what he ends up going for. Still, still not a lot being indicated by any of these players on on exactly what they're trying to do as the game goes along. Yeah, that's uh, so we're keeping an, keeping an eye on here. So we did see Dog Bun actually facing up against Deep Blue. Deep Blue, who early leveled to seven there, ahead of the curve, was able to uh, keep that going. But he has been just rolling down, rolling down to zero to get to eight. In fact, he is hyper early leveling. Uh, and we'll see if that does end up paying off for him here. Uh, he's basically making up the difference in interest in his win bonus. That's sort of, the, I guess, the thought process here. So he's trying to make up a bit of that difference there. Uh, we'll see if that's going to be enough as we're once yeah. again hopping on board with Dog Bun who is going up against uh, Varanas now, uh, who is looking to maybe end this lost streak right here. Uh, the lost streak will potentially end, uh, well, maybe not. No, he's gonna, he's gonna lose. Because I keep having to remember, the player we're seeing them playing against on our screen is necessarily uh, who they're going up against uh, for their actual matchup. Uh, so of course, that that's a really interesting one. Keeps you on your toes for that as a caster, because you're like, oh, he won, that's great. He'll do X damage. It's like, no, that's not how it works. Yeah, it can take definitely take a little getting used to, but. It's, it's a good point with Deep Blue. He's got the win streak going, but his, his econ is is just not great at all. So, uh, but he's 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 leveled up all the way to level eight. So he's definitely gonna look to keep this winning streak going as long as possible. But there's a certain point where you're like, hey, look, I, I just want to get a huge win streak here. I just want to do as well as I can in the early game and just and just due to the fact that there are other players losing, there's a less likely chance that you're gonna fall out at the bottom three if you're able to just pile a lot of wins early on. There's a good chance someone's going to be 40, 50 health below you who you're not going to have to deal with. But best case scenario, you hold on to the win streak, you build exactly what you're looking for, and you turn that into a long-term play. We've seen that kind of fall apart. I, I think it was from our first game. I can't remember who exactly it was, but they had a win streak going, and then they ended up getting second to last in the lobby. So that that's one of the, the balancing acts you have to play in auto chess. Sure, you can, you can build up a huge winning streak in the early game, but you really got to focus on having a strong mid late game uh, to scale that into success because it's not automatic. You can definitely find yourself tumbling from that top spot very quickly. Yeah, that's uh, not what any of these top players want to do. They want to try and maintain these streaks as long as possible. But another player who's up there towards the top of the leaderboard who hasn't able to, uh, quite been able to get that streak going yet is Nova. He's actually going to be going in through, looks like a, a, a feathered assassin build or something here as well, flexing into goblins a little bit. And assassins actually have been one of these compositions we've seen quite a lot throughout the day, but actually surprising, excuse me, surprisingly sparse in this specific lobby. Not really a whole lot of people going that. So being able to get some uncontested assassins, we've seen the power of a level three abyssal crawler. It can be terrifying. Yeah, and I just received word just to confirm. Uh, Nova is third place overall. Whoa. Nice. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the board of Deep Blue. Just had three light blade knights thrown at him uh, in his selection, in his options, but he did not take any of them. So completely ignoring all those light blade knights. It's curious how there's so many out there. Uh, but yeah, no Nova knights. is, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't really get it. I guess we'll see if that changes at all. Just different play styles, different meta things, things are changing as time goes on. Um, but yeah, um, Nova first in the group top three overall. Vincent is also in contention overall. Oh so my we'll goodness. We talked about these since. Can we talk about these insectoids real quick? I mean, it's all about running those duplicates, and we saw a bunch of them coming out with the Doom Arbiters, with these Abyssal Guards, and they just did so much work, just really uh, just going off right there. Because look at look at all these duplicates right up here at the front. This is going to be working really well with this insectoid synergy. Yeah, and we've seen it a couple times today, and you know, T Blue, he's, he's just not trying even to put this up. Yeah, he's 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 trying to put everything together here to to just keep the win keep the wins going. He does not want to even mess with with not playing well here. He wants to just keep his spot at the top. Doesn't want to mess with losing at all. 
and he's going to try to keep adding to this advantage that he has. Even though he's sacrificing his economy, I mean, his, his econ, he's been at 11, he's been very low in his econ, so there's a chance this could fall apart for him, uh, but he's trying to delay that. We'll see if it works Part out for him. Part of the problem. Oh man, this is going to be close. That's stacked HP, and that is actually going to be the loss. We saw him lose, and, and Lucy did there on that board. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um... That's actually big because I was gonna say, like a house of cards, this one's gonna this one's kinda hanging on an edge. I don't know how viable running like full insectoid into the light game really is. I mean, I would be curious to to hear chat's sort of opinion on that. Um, but well, Deep Blue, he's he's now sort of fallen off. There are no win streaks currently going on in this lobby, but Dog Bun has been on a nine loss streak here. I need to check in with Dog Bun. He's making me hungry. I went on dinner, he had a hot dog. Yeah, that just sounds like it would be I would be lovely. I'm gonna be honest. I may I may place an order for hot dogs after this. And some poutine. Oh, yes. Some poutine for all my friends uh, up there in Canada. It would be delicious. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, that is another caster danger of making people hungry, including fellow broadcasters. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to be careful with that. But I'm sure everyone's going to be nicely well fed after the broadcast is over. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Dogman, also, his economy is crazy. He's at 72. He's got a huge bank. I'm wondering if, if he's still there. I, I think he is. What? T Ten lost streak. But, he's a ton of money. Don't, he I don't know eight, why he's not spending like, it. After 50, after 50, you don't get any more interest. Like, there ain't nothing to be... Ha okay. There we go. Interesting. There he goes. There he spent it. There he spent it. All right, we're fine. He's still going to let this lost streak go, maybe? I mean, he's still got a fair amount of health to work with. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this goes. Going up against very nice. <laughs> Every time I hear that name now, I just giggle. I get a giggle out of it. Hey, you started yeah, it, and I, I love it, man. I, I I I was laughing when you were doing that. I, so you got me. You got me tickled, Paul. Oh, uh, you know, through the powers of the internet, we can we can we make it happen. You know, having so normally, you know, for those who are just turning in and and aren't used to. Uh, aren't necessarily used to watching this show week over week. Normally we have, whoa, okay, that was a big pickup there across the board for Dog Bun. That was a lot of the level twos he's looking for. Um, normally we're in a studio show. Normally it's as we're chilling on the couch, we're, we're laughing, we're having a good time. We've got catering. Oh, it's good. Oh, but, you know, you of course, just, I know, just by the nature of this, though, of course, in the situation going on, we're, we're, of course, doing this broadcast remote, which has its own unique technical challenges. But, of course, thank you to all of you guys who are still sticking with us, still hanging out, still enjoying the show. But it also then means that sometimes these jokes, this humor, uh, doesn't quite translate to the internet as much. But I'm, I'm glad for us, Axel Toss, it doesn't matter that we're not in the studio. We're still having a good time. Absolutely. And, again, shout out to uh, ESL for putting all this together. Vince just, uh, Vince is playing this game. He just says something in the chat. The, the bench of the AI was full of whisper seers. It was like there's like seven oh, whisper no. seers on the bench of the AI. I don't know what's going on there, but rip F in the chat for anyone trying to go druid with that AI doing what he just did. No whisper seer for you. Ha! Not yeah, just not <laughs> happening. Um, but I also like crazy, the fact we're seeing, dude. we're seeing a full full warrior community. We're actually seeing a rogue guard coming out now uh, for. Dog bun. This is going to get really fun. We, I love warriors. I am personally biased, but this happens, though, when you play warriors. It's this moment where you literally don't have enough room on your board to get them all into melee range, and it can be kind of awkward. Let's see how it works here for dog bun against our player who's at the top of the lobby, Deep Blue, who also has no money, no economy <laughs> to his name whatsoever. Kind of like me. Just kidding. Uh, it looks like Dog bun. Is his losing streak going to continue? I don't uh, think so. I don't think so. I think he finally found no. the level twos that he was looking for. He's finally getting his uh, his warriors up and running. This is the beginning of the turn for dog bun. Round 22. A big old loss streak. Not an open fort off the bat. They had to play around the AI player, which I, I really respect. Uh, being able to adapt on the fly to that. Um, forget your druids, you don't get them. Let's jump on board with Veta Nice, who is still Veta rocking nice. the goblins, but has transitioned into Goblin Kira with the wizards as well, which is I think is really fun. This is another one of these top strategies. We've actually seen this strategy win a lobby so far. I believe it's our third game uh, of the of the day we ended up seeing. So let's see how this ends up going for him here. 
Yeah, and side note, you got the chat talking about food, so good job, Paul. Frozor says he's eating steak and cheese subs, homemade beer battered onion rings. Oh, man. Frozor, are we hanging out? Are we Are we going to yeah. have a meal together, my friend? I'm coming over. Like old, old school heroes. Tell us, what you're on, eating. Tell, tell, us, tell us what you're eating in the chat and take a picture of it with your Sony Xperia 1 phone. I mean, I mean, if you want to get a Sony, and you can, because it's actually on sale right now. If you actually go to our website on our official mobile partner page, you can follow the link there that'll, I think it's like $150 off right now. If you guys are actually curious to pick one up, then you can take pictures of it, of your food to send us. It's a little convoluted. It's a bit of a process, but if you're in, if you're into to, to trying that one out, I know I'm down. I'm just saying. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Who do you want to watch? Who, who's the term? I, you know, we haven't watched Pouty Panda. I, I asked you the question and then I completely ignored you giving me any answer. You're fine. Like a good caster, uh, we do that never. Um, Pouty Panda. We haven't watched him really all game. He is running a, another variant here. This time it's Warlock Divine, bringing the gods to bear. Let's see if he's going to have enough gas in the tank to uh, sort of break through this this Oof. middle of the pack here. Oh. No, it's definitely not. The answer no, is no. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That is Vince. That is the mighty Vince uh, leveraging the Tortella Elder. And let's see what else he's got going on. Vince with a spirit human. He's got six mage going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's that's that's a pretty powerful mage composition. He's got the the shining dragon in there. And actually adding to it, no, he's just going back up to six mage. He's got the shining dragon. He's got the thunder spirit two star. He's got the flame wizard. And the Tortilla Elder, so really going heavy with the AOE, going for the, th this is the mage AOE composition we look for, where you just try to wipe your opponent as fast as possible. Yeah, but a couple of key units, he's got to get that Flame Spirit to level 2, he's got to, or that, that Flame Wizard to level 2, he's got to get that Tortilla Elder to level 2, those are really the big ones, I mean, the composition's looking pretty good right now as it is, but once he gets those units leveled up, that Laguna Blade, as we're seeing right there, uh, yeah. that Kamehameha, it just does, it does a lot of pain. How does it go? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yell the whole thing. Ugh. You can turn into Dang your it. favorite 90s, you can turn into your favorite 90s anime. Uh, and find I almost it exactly had you. Now. You almost mm -hmm. did it. I know, I have Close. neighbors. I have neighbors, oh. so they probably don't want to hear me just screaming, uh, like lines from Dragon Ball Z at, 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 at 740 on a Friday. Um, tell time. them to tune into the stream. I, you know what? Probably. Yeah. yeah. That could be an option. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, we got a neutral roundup coming. We've kind of gone through everyone. No Nova's at the top here, and, and it's interesting, the, the, the fight between Nova and Vincent. They're yeah. they're pretty high up there in our overall standing, so very, very critical game for both of them. They definitely want to come out. They both want to come out with the win here, so we'll see uh, uh, which one of them is able to prevail. Uh, uh, Vince? Vince, buddy, buddy Vince. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the item you uh, wanted. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of like tank. No, going on like he's got a ton of damage output with AOE, but nothing really to soak damage. So that's why the that neutral round is no good for him. Let's yeah, hope I, for his sake that that does not translate to the upcoming fights he's going to have against other players in the lobby. There's no doubt he can do a ton of damage, but the question is, can he stay alive long enough to do the damage that he wants? That That is really the big question here, and I, I wanted to jump back on board with it. You mentioned the battle between Nova and Vincent here, so I, I wanted to check out Nova's perspective. because Somebody in chat earlier made a very interesting point, the idea of going for assassins while completely uncontested, and that's what we're seeing right now. Nova's really the last player trying to, uh, trying to own these assassins right now and have his assassins own his opponents. Unfortunately, not going to be working here against Pouty Panda because Pouty Panda is already level 10. He has fast leveled. He took a, a page out of Deep Blue's book and uh, he's deciding to see what he can see up top there at level 10 and uh, did work for him right there as well. Yeah, and uh, inversely, Nova is only level 8 but still uh, making it work there at the top. The problem for Nova is all the way down to two on that econ so no, no economy whatsoever going on here for nova investing a lot into the current state uh meanwhile is able to rank up to uh level eight so nova and vincent still at the top deep blue on a four loss streak right now it looks like we are taking a look at who are we watching oh here paul 
We are watching Nova once again because he has a level three soul breaker and a level three abyssal, uh, abyssal crawler, which almost just barely Ooh. was enough to take down the board of variants. So losing to Pouty Panda and very nice variants, very nice back to back could spell a little bit of trouble here for Nova, but dog bun, we got to jump back on board with dog bun. Somebody commenting more like God bun. And I'm like, yeah, cause he's doing pretty well. But unfortunately his prowess in this lobby is, is kind of starting to slip away a little bit because he is now down potentially facing a seventh place finish, which would not be ideal for him. Yeah. Also no, no money. Uh, very low econ here for dog bun. Meanwhile, uh is that right only level one wait that can't be right my my overlay might be glitching out a little bit clearly we have a level three swordsman from oh, dogman yes. that's oh yes that's pretty crazy that can scale pretty well and he's got uh six warriors going on so getting 12 uh 12 armor onto that swordsman Okay, so for concept, all right, I'm, I'm picking up what the chat is putting down. That's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, that's over 1,100 magic damage if you get the full spin duration on just one unit. If he can get that off in a decently populated area, he can theoretically do up to like 4,000 damage just off one spin of that blade over the five seconds. So that could be, if, if done great, and that's not even buffed at all. That's not even, I mean, you don't normally, that's not really someone if you're going to throw your ability increasing items on. That's probably not somebody you're going to do it to. But the fact Really, the only items that have been given here are on this rogue guard, which is the level two, I might add, with that crazy dance with the splash damage, that rogue guard can be absolutely terrifying. So I actually, I think the dog button could be doing some cool stuff here. All right, let's see what happens going up against. Very nice. I can't do it as well as you, I'll be honest. But let's see. Looking like dog button is just super oh. strong. I mean, I'm looking at the health bars on his on his pieces. And like, not a lot is happening. The swordman... Doing just fine, doing his ring around the rosy with his sword. Uh, but the last laugh belonging to very nice and Dogbun are barely staying alive with two HP, uh, but barely outlasting Deep Blue is going to be the first one. Yeah, first uh, non AI player knocked out here. And Deep Blue was off. To, what is with this? All these players who we like, man, what a great start. Goes in a 10 win streak. Looking amazing. Yeah. Early leveling. Good stuff. And first out, wait, what happened? And that just tends to be the, the, the name of the game here. Just because you start things off strong, I, unless you can carry that momentum, unless you can, can transition well, it doesn't mean anything. And there was always a player ready right behind you to take you down. Yes, and still very important lobby here for Nova and Vincent, uh, mostly in this current state because of how well they're doing on the overall leaderboards. Uh, they're the ones really trying to push into... Our top eight and we'll see if they can hold on here dog bun trying to stay alive at the bottom he's got a, uh, a neutral round here to be able to save up some money so he can have more roll options and let's see what he picks up doesn't like anything there okay picks up doom, Ar doom arbiters he's a pirate captain and another doom arbiter not getting those still rolling still rolling what is he looking for still rolling running out of money down to seven another pirate captain popping up there's a siren not interested oh, in any no. of it. And now down to what? three. The three only... No one needs a siren. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Mix it up. He's one off. He was one off his siren and his dark spirit. Those are the two key units he was looking for. The fact that he found the siren now with this increased abyssal gaze, that's going to be pretty darn sick. Let's see what he can do with this here. All right. Going up against Fair Nice once again. Let's see if he can change the tail. There's the three star swordsman push, dishing out a lot of damage. The siren looks to be silenced actually but it's okay yep that's a venomancer from very nice oh no it's a very strong Once venomancer again. also got a fallen witcher in the mix and that's the end for the dog exact same thing we just saw what that's literally the exact same thing we just saw that same thing very nice although also got defeated on his own board oh, wow. so actually so dog bun despite losing to very nice there right at the end by like two seconds actually ends up outplacing him that's just kind of, that's kind of mean. That's what a very way, nice. What a way to do it. <laughs> and now right. Nova's got a shadow crawler up to level three as well. Oh my goodness. Look at the level threes, three level three assassins now for Nova. He's sitting up at the top of the leaderboard. Oh boy, this is going to get spicy. I don't look at when the crits, and everything else are going to start to come through. This is going to be not a whole lot of fun to deal with. Yeah. 
Vincent is looking strong. Look at him go. No problems whatsoever there for Vincent. Pow Panda is going to get taken out. We got three players left in the lobby. Nova, Vincent, and Vivo. And we have Fs in the chat for Deep Blue, who made an appearance in the chat. So cool to see that. We got Joseph also making an appearance in the chat. Hey, Deep Blue, you know what? Good, you beat the AI. So good job, man. You know, that you beat an AI. AI is pretty advanced these days, right? So I think that's I think that's good. But three players left. It's got to be between Nova and Vincent. We'll see if Vivu can uh, come up with an upset. Now we're seeing Nova and Vincent actually battling each other uh, once again. Uh, Nova took it the last time these two faced, literally last round. Uh, but all these insanely powerful level three carry assassins, I think are just oh, too much yeah. for Vincent to deal with here. That's the win streak. Vivu, win streak is Vivu is now down to only five HP. It looks like this is Nova's game to lose at this yeah. point, getting those rolls. I mean, I always like to look for the three stars. That's all. It's always something that I'm, I'm really cognizant of, even early, uh, even if it means not going to 10. That's something that I look for. And Nova, knowing he's uncontested in this build, knowing he has access to the full assassin pool, was like, that's how I'm going to play. This is what I'm going to do. And he made it look really darn good. We're seeing that three-star Abyssal Crawler a lot today, at least comparably. Um, yeah. And that... For Nova right now is is pretty is pretty nuts. All the items on that abyssal crawler, even mixing in some tankiness there to uh, help the sustain. So Nova looking super strong here. Vincent actually getting dropped pretty low in health. He's barely gonna stay alive. This is pretty important here for Vince. He he does not want to get third here. He definitely wants second. The first might be out of reach. So this might be like okay, we got a neutral round here against the Black Dragon King, and then it's like okay, I just hope I don't go up against Nova because. I don't see how Nova doesn't just slaughter the next person he plays and knocks him out here. Yeah, I think we actually have to watch Nova because there's a very real potential that, we you know, he just wins right here off this round. Vivu and Vincent could both lose their respective rounds, and this could be it, except for the fact that it's the Black Dragon King, and it's a neutral round, and I need to be paying more attention to what round we're on. <laughs> oh, Close boy. enough. Yeah. Very quick, very quick neutral round there. Not too much trouble at all, of course, for these guys. Gonna have a just a fine composition to deal with that that neutral that neutral round Black Dragon King and now we have the critical moment who is gonna end up getting knocked out by Nova I feel like that's what's gonna happen here Nova's just gonna clean up the lobby it just matters uh, what order it's gonna be in all right well let's see if this is gonna be it it all comes down to one potential final round vivo is able to get his dark spirits level two that black hole could be massive that percentage hp could tick away but i don't know if into the mass three star assassins of nova it's gonna be enough and we have vincent and nova stop popping up items i don't care about you right now i just want to see this abyssal crawler go off and oh my goodness that's just going to be it. I called it. I predicted it. GG Nova takes the lobby in stride. Oh my goodness. That was a performance identifying that he had the build that nobody else was going. Nobody else uh, after that early game was going to stick with assassins. He's like, that's fine, I guess. I guess I'll just roll really hard on this and look for threes and find them. He did is a sacrifice to RNG's. Jesus was well received because he got three three star heavy hitters there at the end and they just carried him to victory. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, auto chess is kind of like scanning the environment of the game and 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 trying to logically choose what build will give you the most success. And that was probably a very calculated play there by Nova, somehow recognizing that assassins were Either he was picking up all the assassins or no one else was really picking up assassins. So heads up play there from Nova, just stacking up the three stars. And then he's probably just sitting back and smiling and relaxing. And actually, that made me think of the question I wanted to ask earlier. I know we're at the end of the show right now, but I'm curious because this yeah. is the mobile open. You play with your phone. Paul, like this is an open question. I'm, a I'm asking you too, Paul. Where is your favorite place to play auto chess on your phone? Is it is it on your bed? Is it at your desk? On your, near your computer while you're doing other stuff on your computer is it in the bathtub 
is it out on the balcony while you're in, are, you, are you going camping and playing auto chess? So I'm curious, Paul, your answer. I'm curious, everyone in the chat. And I'm also very curious, these players, like, I'm kind of like, where do you think these players are playing who are playing in this tournament? Like, where are they chilling with their phone? Because you can kind of be anywhere to play. So there's there's an open question for Paul in the chat. Uh, yes. Long and short answer. Uh, well, the, I, I used to I used to be able to, before I moved to California, go camping quite a bit. And I would definitely take my phone with me and grind out quite a few games of whatever mobile game I was playing at the time when I was out camping to the point where it may have caused some tension. My girlfriend's like, Paul, we got to go do things now and stop playing games on your phone. <laughs> Look, that may or may not have happened. I'm just saying, but no, plenty of places to, to play and compete on the balcony, soak up some rays because we can't really go out. Otherwise, right now is also a great option. But you know what? What we'll the chat get the rest of that answer? And let's take a look at our Xperia highlights from that last game. Axel Toss, it was such a strong showing from Nova, but other players definitely had some spots to shine over the course of that game. Yeah, let's take another look. And it all started with the ferocious run from Deep Blue. He was at the top of the lobby the entire pretty much the entire way before being the first player knocked out. So remember this screen because the fortunes changed for deep blue for sure <laughs> as everything went along a seven win streak there he's going to clean up but that story would not continue as we move on to round 24 where we have nova going up against vio he's going to have seven assassins going to work here and that's going to find him success and remember uh nova was our winner in the overall lobby the assassins really coming through for him more on that later here is vivo in round 29 going up against pal panda viewing very nicely uh with six mages no problem whatsoever paul you were talking about how much you like seeing those mages unleash all their abilities at once and here we have dog bun in round 31 getting that three-star swordsman and just putting in a ton of work here uh and there we see uh, him actually i think he fell here because the venomancer on the other side from very nice ended up being a little bit too much very close battles all the way throughout we also see we also see a level two fallen witcher there which we haven't seen too much yeah. fallen witcher today which is a little surprising and now we're moving on to vincent up against nova and vincent is unable to figure out this sat like that's just so strong going up against those assassins so vincent not able to deal with that and finally here we have Nova doing what he does best within this lobby, going for the strongest assassin play. No answer.